What's going on guys, Mountaineer Mitch here bringing you a post game for the Cotton Bowl between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Oklahoma Sooners. I did pick Texas A&M to win this game, but definitely not by that score. Uh, Texas A&M is one heck of a football team. And I knew they were good when they beat Alabama. And uh, I thought they would struggle a little bit with Bob Stukes having the preparation he did for the bowl game and um, trying to figure it out. But um, And there in the first half, I thought they did have Johnny Manziel figured out. And uh, they kind of slowed the game down a little bit, had him on the sideline, you know. But um, there in the second half, it just proved too much, you know. And um, just, uh, I think someone who, I think a part of Texas a and that does not get it a lot recognized is their defense. And uh, being able to slow Landry Jones down in the first half and pretty much almost shutting them down in the second half, um, Texas A&M has one heck of a defense. There's someone like Oregon that gets overlooked on defense, but they do have uh, good athletes and stuff like that. And they have been able to slow down a lot of the SEC teams. So, I mean, good props to them, you know. But uh, this game, Johnny Manziel, geez, man. His sky's the limit for this kid. You know, I've never seen a freshman quarterback that has the smarts, the talent. I mean, everything that goes with being a senior quarterback – let alone being a redshirt freshman. I mean, nobody really talked about until the half, second half of the season when he just just took it in the took the Alabama game into his own hands and destroyed him with it. I mean, the kid knows when he should run, when he should pass, and when he should throw it away. I mean, those, those are just tangibles you can't get with every quarterback, you know. And uh, can move the pocket, you know, and he can do almost anything you want him to do. So I hope he stays healthy. I don't look so forward to watching him in the next couple of years. I mean, I don't think he's going to see it stay all the way to his senior year because the NFL probably wants him right now. You know, he's probably one of the best quarterbacks. If he could be drafted this year, I think he'd be drafted probably number one overall. And I'm not taking anything away from Matt Barkley or Geno Smith, but this kid's good. But, um, I mean, just imagine how much smarter he's going to be in the football knowledge of staying – you know, still being in high or college for at least two more years. You know, that's just mind blowing to me. But um yeah, this this kid's awesome, man. Um just you know, he had over two hundred yards passing, two hundred yards rushing, two touchdowns passing, two touchdowns rushing. You know, he had he put up over five hundred yards just by himself. You know, that's that's really just crazy to me, you know? And um, I, I can't wait to see what they do in the SEC next year. Um, I'm glad that they're all the Big 12 because I'd hate to see what West Virginia would have to put up with them. But, um, yeah, that's really about it, guys. Um, Mel Mitch, time out. Peace.